If you use any of the AI coding terminal tools, you need to know about Claude Squad like right now, because it's the easiest way to use Claude Code, Codex, and Gemini CLI in the same project to massively speed up your workflow. But if you know what you're doing, you can actually use Claude Squad to run anything you want, not just agents. Let's get into it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So Claude Squad is essentially an agent multiplexer that uses Tmux to create multiple different instances and isolates those different instances using Git Worktree so you don't accidentally mess up your code. You can see the code changes from different instances, commit and push the code, and even pause and resume a session, all without exiting Claude Squad, which is really nice. So this is a simple Next.js app with some improvements I'd like to make, like the color of the text being very difficult to read, adding an edit button to the to-dos, and saving the to-dos in local storage. So I'm gonna open a new Claude Squad session and assign each task to a different instance. I'll call the first one text color, and if I zoom out a bit, you can see the name of the branch down here. I'll press enter to go into the instance and give Claude access to my folder. Then I'll give it a prompt and press command Q to go back to the instance page and press N to create another instance. We'll call this one edits button and I'll give this one a prompt as well. Then finally, I'll create a third instance and I'll give this one a prompt as well. And we can keep going back and forth between instances, making sure they're doing what we've asked. We can then press tab to see the changes that have been made. And if we're happy with it, we can press P to push the changes, which opens the branch in GitHub for us to merge in. Or you could merge it in the terminal. Or if you want to come back to it later, you can press C to check out, which will pause the instance and press R to resume. But this will of course get rid of the conversation. You'll have noticed that by default, each instance launches Claude code. But if you wanted to run Gemini CLI or Codex, you'd have to quit from Claude Squad and run this command for Codex, or this for Gemini, meaning whenever we create a new instance, Claude Squad will default to Gemini. But there's a problem. If I wanted to quit an agent and jump to my terminal, it crashes Claude Squad. But because this is using Tmux, I could press Ctrl B and then quotation marks to create a new split. And now I can do whatever I want, like open NeoVim on the project or even open cursor and get the benefit of being in a brand new branch and easily navigate between instances. However, as much as I like Claude Squad, there are a few things I haven't quite figured out, like how to get a notification when an agent is finished or is waiting for user inputs and how not to use my username in the name of a branch. But aside from those small issues, I really like the tool. And if I ever needed to add multiple features to a single project, Claude Squad would be a no brainer.